Hello everybody, this is Dreamer back to kick off the concluding round for Group E. In my opinion, the most exciting group in this tournament. And it's finally coming to its conclusion, so let's have a look at our fight card for this session, shall we? I don't need to tell you what the main event is. It is a huge match between Arctic Warriors and Kaijong Cooper. Victory for either of our combatants will see them go through to the knockout rounds at the expense of the other. But before that, we have got MEJE10 looking to make it 7 out of 7, going up against Jurassic Experts, who still has a bit of work to do. Then we have Aaron Plays already out, going up against Marn, looking to secure second place. But at first, we have got two eliminated teams in Prison Bow and Keonte. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Prison Bow, we got Paris Dino Tector. Um, look, it's been a tough, it's been a good tournament overall for Prism, though. They have come up short in a lot of their matches. And they've definitely had a debut to remember. Although I do feel like they are very much the pure definition of the what-if team in this tournament. Right, in the blue corner, for Keontae, we got Spinosaurus. Keontae, again, had a tough tournament. Both of these two are just looking to finish on a high, and actually, now that I've, I've just twigged that Paris does get terrain advantage here, so... Wait, did I forget to swipe the character card for the prison bell? Oh, it doesn't matter. So they do get the terrain hit there. Almost forgot about that. Oh, that's another hit. This is a good start for a prison bell. Oh wow, this is a good start. Okay, Aqua Vortex has been triggered. Keontae really shaken so far. Okay, there we go. There's a hit for Keontae. It's not an Aqua Vortex, but they'll take the hit nonetheless. It's a tie. Super Impact getting triggered there. The Dino Tector is almost full as well. Man, that fills up. Well, it is going to be full. Right. Well, you know the deal. And I remember Prison Bow doesn't have a character card. <laughs> but anyway, it is Dino Tector time. Well, we've been here before with Prison Bow, haven't we? In fact, I think in like pretty much all their matches, they've got to the Dino Tector stage. Oh, they don't get the hit. Okay, Spino does get a tragic sphere. I don't think this will be lethal. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's a shockwave. That does change things, and that does stop Prison Bow from getting an ultimate leaf off here, because the Spino will go for the crit. And gets the crit! And well, <laughs> that sums up Prison Bow's tournament, doesn't it? Yet again, failing to get the ultimate leaf off. I mean, Spin Spino had very low, well, no health left, so an ultimate leaf would have been wasted anyway, but still. They needed the tie, really, just to get to Super Tank. But anyway, that's done now. Coming in next for Prison Bow, we've got Yang Chungasaurus. Well, tight disadvantage shouldn't be a problem here because Spy knows on such low health. And yet there is. But it's been a good fight back from Keontae. Alpha Slash. Okie dokie, coming in second for Keontae, we've got Super Tank Awaken Mode on 4. A lot of the matches that, ha that are meaningless in, in this round have been very good matches, I have to say. Guys, you guys are determined to go out with a bang. Oh, that's a tie. And Yang Chunasaurus strikes the first blow. That was one. Ooh, but Tank gets a crit. That's going to be a big crit. There's a spike arrows. Keontae striking hard. Oh, no. Oh, what we got here? Oh, it's an earth barrier. Twice. Nice. 
Oh, that's another hit from Keontae. They really have turned the screw in this match. And if they can get rid of Yang Chungasaurus, they do have a chance at an awakened hit on the Lexovasaurus. That's a tie. And remember, Earth Barrier is still in play. Well, it's not in play anymore. Yang Chungasaurus gets a hit, and it is awakening time for Tank. And the Crystal Crusher has been triggered. That's probably not good. That's not good news for Keontae though, because he would have very much preferred the chance and an awakened hit on Lexovasaurus, and he's not going to get it now. Oh well, he got the hit anyway. <laughs> A bit overkill, but Yang Chungasaurus is going down. Right, coming in third for Prison Bow, we have got Lexovasaurus. Well, this Lexovasaurus has been a powerhouse. Been really impressed with it, and that crit is lethal. Very lethal. Four. Well, that's a crit. Again, a bit overkill because they didn't need it, but Tank goes down. Okay, coming in third for Keontae, we got T-Rex. It does have the Death Fire, so Prison Boat does have to be careful of that. This has been a very absorbing match so far. And who knows, maybe it'll end in a draw. But with Death Fire, I don't think it will. Ooh, Lexo gets the first shot in. No Earth Barrier, though. Oh, don't do this now, random number generator. Ugh, hang on. Ah, there we go. That's a three. And that's a one, so... The T-Rex is going to get off a big Magma Blaster. Badoosh! Massive hit from... Wow, that is a big hit. Oh, that crit's surely going to do it. That's going to be the knockout win for Keontae. And they will finish their tournament on a high. And Prison Bow will go out with a defeat. Those big shots from the T-Rex proving the difference. So, yeah, well done to Keontae. And hope to see you two next year. Because they, you two were definitely fun additions. Right, on to our next match. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Aaron plays, we have got a Mataburasaurus. Well, they may be going out of this tournament, but Aaron plays has definitely been one of the most entertaining teams in this tournament. All their matches have been really, really good, and I'm hoping that this will be no different. Right, in the red corner, blue corner, for Man, we've got Soro Faganax. Man enjoying another strong tournament so far. Victory here, secure second place, and a matchup against Storm in the last 32 round. Although, the downside is that they would end up on the uh, tougher side of the, of the draw, which, you know, it depends on what you want. Of course, they would avoid Maastricht and Dex in Ultimate Dino Smash until the semi finals so that is, there is that. I mean, they can do what they want. They're already through. It's a good start from Marn getting the first hit in as another hit. The Sorofagnix has been really impressed. I've been really impressed with the Sorofagnix. Ooh, but Aaron plays gets a crit. Well, if his... Uh, hello? Um, testing? I, I have no idea what that was. <laughs> Classic Aaron plays. Never a dull moment when Aaron plays plays. On honestly, if I could, I would swap myself for Aaron plays in the knockout rounds because they have been so entertaining. <laughs> and they definitely deserve to go through a lot more than I do. <laughs> uh. 
Hello? We lagging again? Right, I'm so sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened there. So, just to recap, we are level packing. I have no idea. That's never happened to me before. But yeah, it is hopefully fixed. I hopefully have fixed the problem. Okay, anyway, back to the match. And Man goes 1 0 up. But they won't stay 1 0 up because coming in next for Aaron plays, we've got Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus, it does have terrain advantage. That means Aaron plays will get the next hit. It'll be a rock hit. Hmm. Actually, I don't know if this will be lethal, actually, now that I think about it. We'll just have to see. Oh, well, it won't be lethal because the Papasaurus is going to come in for the tag team. Oh, no. That's a good way to waste the train advantage, but it's not a complete waste because the Earth Barrier does activate. So it's not a complete waste for Aaron plays that. Hi, it's got sand. The Ankylosaurus does have the sand trap. Ooh, that Earth Barrier is going to be useful now because that's Kamikaze Tackle. Big shot from Man come in. Well, it would have been a big shot, but the Earth Barrier limiting the damage. But well, not going to limit the damage this time. That's another Kamikaze Tackle. Oh, bloody hell, he killed it! Um, okay. Coming in third form. Aaron plays, we got Spiny Tector. Now, someone please tell Marn that they can't top this group even if they win 3 0. <laughs> wow, that's sort of Fagan actually mopping up. I have to say, they had a bit of an iffy start in this, to this tournament, but Marn has really stepped up with every match. And I think they could definitely make a deep run, even if they end up on the tough side of the draw. I could see another deep run. Last year, they got to the semi-finals. Okay, there's a hit. That does finish off the Faganax. Badoosh. Right, coming in next for... Man, we got Taurosaurus. It's my drink. Well, this Taurosaurus has been an absolute brute in Man's last two matches, and has been the main reason why they won those last two matches. That Stompin' Hammer, really, really hard hitting move. And well, it gets the first hit. It's got type advantage as well, so this, uh, this hit will do a bit more damage. Attack boost coming in. No electric charge, though. See, this is the strategy I had planned for Orinoceratops. But I picked Orinoceratops because its stats were more balanced. But... <laughs> well, the Taurosaurus of this one and Dino Smashes has worked like a charm, mine hasn't. But, no matter... Right, that's a Venom Fang. That's a good shot there from Aaron Play, showing they're not done yet in this fight. They still got the Dino Tector. And well, if there's one thing I've learned about Aaron Plays is he don't count the fellow out yet. And actually, one more hit and we will see Dino Tector. Okay, that tile do it. You, oh, there's the poison. <laughs> well, you know the deal. Dino Tector! Oh! Well, if Aaron Place can get a hit here, we'll be right back in this match. Ooh, that's another tie. Well, oh, they got enough ties. They could have a chance at an ultimate water on the Apasaurus. That's a hit. Is, I, I don't know if this is lethal. It might be. Oh, it's lethal. And Man gets the bonus point win, which secures second place in this group and that match with Storm in the last 32 round. And well, the way Man is playing at the minute, Storm could be blown away in that matchup. But enough about that. On to our third match. Right the ho then, in the red corner for MEJP10, we've got Ulti Rhinus. MEJP10 has been faultless in this tournament so far. Six out of six. 
can they join Black Beauty in making it 7 out of 7? And there is something to play for you for them, because if they do get any points out of this match, they will set a new record for the most amount of points obtained in a group stage, by a, by a human team that is. The outright record is 28, set by a bot team, but uh, we don't want a bot team to have the record, do we? So it doesn't count. <laughs> Right, in the blue corner for Jurassic Experts, we've got Ampelosaurus. Victory for Jurassic Experts takes them through to the last 32 round, regardless of the main event result. And a Jurassic Experts victory here... ...puts all the pressure on Arctic Warriors and Kite... well, Arctic Warriors in the main event. But victory for MEJP10 here... ...puts Arctic Warriors through to the last 32 round. By virtue of the head-to-head -head that Arctic Warriors has over Jurassic Experts. So Jurassic Experts really needs to win this match. And this is a good start. Ulti Rhinos yet to fire a shot. This is very unlike any JT10 in this tournament. And that's a tie. And that is... 1-0 the Jurassic Experts! What a start! The dream start for Jurassic Experts! Right, coming in next for MEJP10, we got you off the Sephiroth. Very unfamiliar territory for them in this tournament. The Ulti Rhinus usually dominates early on, but not this time. Didn't even get a hit. Can't even fire a shot. It's been all experts. And well, if they get a bonus point win here, yeah, that would be enough practic that would be enough to almost secure third place. Which could be huge in this group, because whoever finishes fourth in this group takes on Dino Smash and ends up on the head the heavyweight side of the draw. But MEJP10 starting to get hits back and Earth Barrier coming in here. It's been a very sluggish start from them. Oh, the experts gets a crit, but the Earth Barrier is in effect. The elemental power limiting the damage as well. Okay, that's elemental power maxed up. That's good for MHAP 10. They're starting to come back into this contest after a slow start. No Earth Barrier this time. And that will be curtains for Ampelosaurus, but it did its job. It took out the Ulti Rhinus. Right then, coming in next for experts, we have got Eocarcaria, Omega Eocarcaria. Well, this thing can single-handedly win this match for Jurassic experts. Can it perform? Can it get in this win? a hit but remember elemental power is in effect the damage will be very little as opposed to this hit oh wow that is a decent damage and that actually puts emmy slightly in front oh that's a crit just like that emmy jp10 takes the lead with the elemental power buff, this is probably going to be lethal for the Eocarcaria. And it is! That's how quick a match can turn. And now all of a sudden, Experts' lead is decimated. Right, coming in third for them, we've got Super Soro Pelter. Awaken mode on three, and if Experts do lose this match, they're going to have to hope but Kaijon Cooper does not win the main event later. Victory for Kaijon would knock experts out of the tournament. Okay, there's another hit. This is not, this is looking bleak for Jurassic experts. That's a tight. It started off so well for them, but any JP10 has really just turned the screw on this match. And that's another hit. It's going to be another bonus point win for Emmy, surely. 
there it is. That's the coup de grace. That's the bonus point win. You up the cephalus, man. If Ulti Rhinus doesn't sweep you, you up the cephalus, well. And MEGE Tekken claims yet another bonus point win. And a points record of 27. Which, in fairness, is one off the actual record. So, <laughs> But I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. And as for experts, well, they're going to have a very nervous wait. They're going to have to hope that Arctic Warriors wins this main event. Speaking of that main event, here it comes. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Arctic Warriors, we got Kentosaurus. Arctic Warriors already safely through to the last 32 round, courtesy of the previous result. Dun, dun, dun. But, ideally, they don't want to finish fourth in this group, because that does put you on the tougher side of the draw, and it sets you up with, for a match against Dino Smash. Right, in the blue corner for Kaijon Cooper, we have got Penty Ceratops. Well, it's win or bust for Kaijon Cooper, victory, and they can go third and through in this group. Defeat, and it's all over for them, and there'll be experts going through. And they do have terrain advantage on this field, and it will be a crit and a galley rush. This is exactly the start you want if you're Kaijon Cooper. Especially given that Kentrosaurus also has type advantage over Pentaceratops. Oh, a massive hit there. Look at that. And the galley rush to come as well. Really good start for Kaijon. Okay, there's a Thunder Bazooka. Um, I think Kentrosaurus will survive this. Yeah, I thought it would. But that does render the Earth Barrier kind of useless now. Oh, that's a tie. And Kentrosaurus, just like that, going down. And that is a, just the start you want if you're Kaijon. Right, coming in next for Arctic Warriors, we've got Megaraptor. Well, they still got a bit to play for you, Arctic Warriors. As I said, finishing third in this group does put you on the favourable side of the draw. That's a six, that's a tie. That's another tie. Arctic Warriors yet to fire a shot on this Pentaceratops. And they still can't. It's another Galley Rush. Another Thunder Bazooka. This Pentaceratops is doing the job for Kaijon so far. That does trigger the Hurricane Beat though, so... His Mega Raptor still, can still hit really hard. But they just gotta get a hit. It's another tie. It's another tie. They still can't fire a shot. The third tie Mega Raptor goes down is 2 0 to Kaijon. This is exactly what they wanted. And they got tight advantage over this Sukumimus, which comes in third now. Real opportunity for Kaijon to win this. Right, coming in third for Arctic Warriors, we've got Sukumimus. Has the conviction gone from them? Probably, maybe. <laughs> but we won't count them out yet, because they did come from this situation before, I believe, against Aaron players. Oh, another Galley Rush, another hit from Pentaceratops. It's been all Kaijon Cooper in this match. The tie. Come on, give Arctic at least one hit in this match. It's a third tie. Well, they've killed the Pentaceratops with ties. Oh, finally a hit, and Pentaceratops does go down. But, well, I, I feel like it's done the work already. Kaijon Cooper again, a massive performance right when they needed it the most. Right, coming in next for Kaijon Cooper, we've got Europlocephalus. 
Will it be able to finish off the job and make this comfortable? Or can Arctic pull off a comeback? Is there a twist in the tale of this contest? Ooh, that's a crit. Well, Arctic Warriors is putting up a fight. Right, I just need to concentrate here. Yes, got it. This is going to do some damage. But has the damage already been done? Hi. That'll do it! That's the Quake Saber, that's the knockout, and that's the win for Kaijon Cooper. A bonus point win, and that puts them third in this group. And it knocks out Jurassic Experts as well. Arctic Warriors will drop to fourth. And that is how Group C will finish. And Kaijon will go through to the knockout rounds in emphatic style. Right, let's have a look at our table. We can end the session. Right, that is how Group E has finished, ladies and gentlemen. So you see MEJP10, well, topping it by a country mile <laughs> and setting a new points record with 27 points, the most that any human team has ever got in a group stage. And that's gonna take some beating. Then we have Marn in second place on 19 points, having a strong tournament again. Wait, have I got... Hang on, I think he's supposed to have four bonus points. <laughs> My mistake. Well, it doesn't matter because he's finished second anyway. Then we have Kajon Cooper storming up to third place on 12 points after that big win against Arctic Warriors. And then Arctic Warriors hanging on in there, finishing in fourth by virtue of the head-to-head -head over Jurassic Experts who unfortunately bows out which is the, probably the twist of this group. I did not expect experts to go out, given the position they were in. But yeah, that's how it goes. And then these three poor sats, well, we knew they were out. But yeah, Prison Bow finishing bottom, Aaron plays, and Keonte all bowing out. Right, let's have a look at where you, these guys are in the knockout round. So yeah, you can see, in fact, Kaijon Cooper will take part in the very first knockout match, going up against whoever finishes runner-up in Group H which as it stands, I believe is Tyrant King. But again, that can change. Then we have another confirmed matchup up here. It's gonna be Dino Smash taking on Arctic Warriors. That's gonna be a tough match for Arctic Warriors. They are condemned to the tough side of the draw. It's gonna be really difficult for them to make any sort of run in this, to in this tournament. Gonna go through one hell of a gauntlet. And then down here, we do have Marn finishing second, going up against Storm to be an interesting match and over here we also have and uh, well we also have MEJP10 going up against Asta but we already knew that so yeah that's gonna be it the bracket is filling up and it'll get even more full when we complete the other groups so until then ta-ta mm -hmm.